develop a new training from a corner combined uh, with functional training, crossfit, uh, very special training, so bear with me upstairs. So let's go. This is the first time that I see something for Muay Thai. So yeah. I mean, I uh, combine it with Muay Thai training. I'm so excited to see how Pakorna will improve uh, his skills uh, after this program with you. Well, exactly. Until you know, now they're kind of realizing that they just can't do the traditional running and push-ups yeah. and stuff like that. As but, all the Thai fighters. Yeah, yeah, especially as they're traveling around the world. You know, they're going to be competing against guys in other countries that are, you know are training with this sort of equipment. You know, with this sort of technology. So yeah. you got to catch up to it. You know, he's going to fight in England versus. Mm -hmm an English fighter. Uh, he's going to fight in uh, five rounds, uh, as uh, in Thailand everyone does. Uh, but the, um, the difference is not going to be like the Thai rounds as usual. So I mean, the first and the second round slowly, and after he goes to, to get more rhythm and pump it and uh, more power round, uh, he has to uh, start uh, and push uh, at the first round. So it's, like, well, it's a horse okay. race, right from the go, right on the gate. It's just okay. going to be hard. Yeah, okay. so that's why. The program we pretty much designed for him is a four-week uh, power endurance. So not only are we trying to develop his power and explosivity, but we want to make sure he's explosive through all five rounds, not just the first or second one, then he's tired and gassed out, right? So, um, so Hendrix worked on a really good program over here. Good job, Paco. Good job. Good job. Good job. Um, been given this opportunity by Stefania to um, work with uh, Pacon and your team to um, transform you into a super powerful, speed, um, high speed athlete and a great Muay Thai fighter, which you already are. So what we're going to do is we're going to improve your strength and we're going to improve your conditioning and just make you prepared for your fight that's coming up in, in October against Wotan. Uh, Stephanie, uh, so what what we're doing is we take uh, some of the some of the methods from CrossFit and we apply it to Muay Thai and we create a strength and conditioning program that will benefit you and make you a better fighter. Go, ใช้การสอนในในในฟิตเนสการเคลื่อนไหวอะไรเงี้ยแล้วก็ปรับมาใช้กับมวยไทยเพื่อให้เอ่อประกอบเนี่ยมีการชกที่ดีขึ้นแ
and how we can improve that อย่างแรกก็คือเขาจะสอนเกี่ยวกับการใช้กำลังแล้วก็สปีดคือความเร็วครับ We're also gonna get your conditioning up so your heart and your lungs is strong and prepare you well for your fight ขั้นที่สองคือเกี่ยวกับระบบหายใจว่าเราจะควบคุมการระบบหายใจยังไงเพื่อที่ไม่เหนื่อยครับครับ Another thing we're gonna work on is also your your mobility in your in your hips primarily so that you can perform and do good kicks ต่อไปก็คือจะฝึกในเรื่องของการเคลื่อนไหวร่างกายเพื่อที่จะช่วยในการออกอาวุธในการเตะในการต่อยครับ And all of this together is gonna be Sport specific, we integrate Muay Thai technique, elbows, knees, kicks, punches. We integrate that into your training. Ah, ทั้งหมดเนี้ยเขาก็จะมาใช้อ่าให้เป็นเทคนิคในการที่จะออกอาวุธมวยไทยของคุณไม่ว่าจะเป็นการสอบการเข่าการเตะการต่อยทั้งทั้งหมดเนี้ยโปรแกรมเนี้ยเพื่อจะมาใช้ในมวยไทยของคุณ So the plan is that all of this is going to make you a better Muay Thai fighter. For your fight against Wotan in October. Okay. Ah, program this will help you become a Muay Thai fighter who is the best in the world. So you will meet with Wotan. Yes. Thank you. Everything funky, big gap, turn around, show me a donkey Oh my lord, that's a whole lot of chunky I can tell you from a whole lot of country I am a drug, so I know a whole lot of junkies In the club, chilling with a whole lot of drunkies Funny, funny, when it come to girls, I'm a funny dumb Pack one, skinny ones, all of us 21 Woo, we got the two say trippin' She lookin' at me like you say trippin' Don't you ain't gonna find a bag, got a young Madonna here She gon' talk her body till her body need a mama care Do it for the fine, do it for the gram Do it for the couple hundred dollars in my hand, no discrimination if you're heavy in the middle or you only got a little, go ahead and make a jiggle, go, ain't no party like the East Coast party with a West Coast chick that got a down south body and she bounce that body, bounce, bounce that body, bounce that body, bounce, bounce that body, do the water dance girl, do the water dance, do the water dance girl, do the water dance, from Miami to the Bay to the Port of France, back to Jersey baby, go do the water dance, do the water dance girl, do the water dance, do the water dance girl, do the water dance, from Miami to the Bay to the สวัสดีครับช่วงนี้ก็เปลี่ยนโปรแกรมซ้อมนิดนิดหน่อยครับเนื่องจากมาฟิกเนสครับเพื่อทดสอบร่างกายแล้วก็การสปีดมัดครับก็ถือว่าเป็นการที่ดีครับแล้วเพื่อจะไปชมในวันที่11รายการอยู่ขาว11ครับก็พร้อมมากครับและมั่นใจว่าจะเก็บไทยชนะมาได้ครับเพราะเป็นการชิงแชมป์ด้วยครับ Hi guys uh, this is Henry from CrossFit BK and Aspire Club I'm here to explain a little bit on how we've been training p a k o r n more specifically and what kind of exercises we've done for uh, to improve his Muay Thai and fighting so uh, in in general we've uh, picked exercises that will help him improve his power and his speed We've also worked on uh, correcting some of his weaknesses that we've found, some of his um, mobility issues that he's had, and uh, and again just working on his uh, his speed and, and and as well as integrating some Muay Thai technique into his workouts. So uh, some of the exercises that we've been using here uh, that we feel we'll, we'll find has a good carryover and benefits Muay Thai fighters and specifically Pat c o r n e s has been uh, uh, following. We've been doing a ball slam rotational throws. So we're using a ball that we normally use for our ball slams. We've uh, taken this one and added it, a rotational throw into that one. Uh, the rotational throw means that you're in a split stance, similar to a, a kick. You're going to be throwing the ball and you're going to drive it from your hip. So that teaches you the same kind of hip mechanics as you would have in, in a kick. Uh, as you release the ball, you're only working on the concentric phase. You don't have to eccentrically uh, load and decelerate the weight. You can put all your power into accelerating it forward. Another workout, or another exercise, I should say, that we've been using a lot has been uh, the single leg squat. So as 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 a fighter, um, and this is true for almost every sport, you're always going to be in a unilateral split stance, and hardly ever you're going to do a, a bilateral squat for a second. So um, our single leg squat has been done uh, on a bench or in a box, where we've been standing up, 
stability and mobility, or primarily stability on that stance leg, and the, the leg that's been free has been coming down to touch the ground in, in a controlled way, so that you're on your stance leg, having to uh, generate that stability and, and strength in a controlled way. This, as we see it, has good carryover for single legs single leg stance for a kick for example, so lots of hip stability uh, required for that exercise. Another one that we've uh, used for uh, power development coming from the hip has been the uh, explode snatch. So the explode snatch is a modified piece of equipment that we use uh, for uh, any population that uh, has uh, either difficulty or restrictions in learning movements, barbell movements, traditional barbell movements, such as the clean and jerk and the snatch. So using that explode uh, device uh, where the handles spin freely, the learning curve is, is very fast. You're going to pick up this movement in, in a matter of minutes. Uh, there's also very little risk for any kind of wrist injuries and wrist injuries in any situation is always a bad thing and especially for a fighter. So we don't want to risk, uh, risk that component at all. We're also doing uh, to, uh, for Pacorn to work on is uh, force generating in a, in a horizontal plane, we're doing lots of kettlebell swings. So this could be done single hand, it could be done with both hands, as we're working with uh, generating hip, uh, hip force and hip power. So as everybody knows that are familiar with this uh, movement, uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of hip hinging. And then again, force comes from the hip, we're also working on um, statically retracting the shoulder blades and opening up this posture as a fighter, you're gonna be spending a lot of time with your shoulders retracted forward, uh, sorry, protracted forward, and, and kind of in this uh, protected uh, posture. So again, kettlebell swings, lots of uh, hip power from that one, but also an added benefit is gonna be shoulder bed retraction and getting a little bit more of an open posture, which uh, the, the theory behind that is that it, that will help uh, improve this his overall posture, help improve the muscles that are uh, spending a lot of time in this uh, lengthened, uh, short, uh, sorry, the lengthened and, uh, and weaker, weaker state as a fighter. So benefits for the, for the kettlebell swing and one of the reasons why we've chosen to integrate that uh, exercise as a part of uh, Pacorn's uh, training program. When we uh, first started training with uh, Pat Korn, we did um, a general uh, movement screen that we always do with all our athletes. Uh, there we identified some of his uh, weaknesses as far as the mobility and stability. Um, we've also uh, did some uh, performance tests to kind of find a baseline on that as well. ที่ยากก็มีที่ดังเนี่ยถือว่าโอเคครับได้ทั้งกําลังแข็งกําลังขาก็ถือว่ามาฝึกที่นี่ถ้ามาฝึกบ่อยๆมันก็อาจจะท
improved heaps on that. So if that's athletic intelligence or just mechanics and techniques that's improving or uh, how that's going to transfer to his actual Muay Thai skills, um, we'll, we'll see about that. But we've done we've done our best and we've done a really good job on preparing Pak Won for the fight against Watson in, in October. ก็เท่าที่ผมมาฝึกที่นี่ก็ตอนแรกก็ไม่คิดว่าจะช่วยอะไรเยอะนะครับแต่เท่าที่มาฝึกดูแล้วมาฝึกบ่อยๆก็ร